still not subscribed to the partition, you know, it's a lot of ways that you can do this besides watching all the content. But before we start, always remember, go to the channel's link. Every show that we have, you can always see every show before everybody else see the show. But besides that, always remember, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, put it on all. Until then, always remember, anything is possible. Thank you for choosing the partition. Now let's get into the show. Anything is possible. Peace. Welcome back to Chopping Up with Lil Ron. Today in the studio, we have a very special guest. This guest is very special to me because not only do he actually follow me and what I do, we go way back. But before we get ready to, to get into that, I want you guys to introduce and I want you guys to welcome this man because he's a very special person and take all the time. Y'all need to get y'all seat, get y'all popcorn, because this is going to be good. I want to introduce to y'all the one and only Mr. Spivey. How you doing, Mr. Spivey? I'm fine. How you doing today, Ron? Oh, man. You, you know, I, I, I can't say introduce yourself, because I, I know who you are, but I do it to everybody. Everybody that may not know who you are, I always tell all the guests to introduce yourself to them, and then from there, we go, and that's, that's going to be history. Okay. Well, my name is Reginald Spivey, and I'm a native Houstonian. I'm a um, former, I'm a retired uh, administrator. Well, actually, 35 years in the, in the school school business of education, 10 years as a teacher coach, and 25 years as an administrator. I've worked several districts at Galena Park, North Forest, and I retired out of, out of Humble ISD Independent School District. Uh, my background is in, in my educational background. I, I'm, uh, I finished, uh, I got a Bachelor's degree in uh, science from Prairie View a and University. Also, I have a master's degree in administration from Prairie View a and University. I have a bachelor's of arts degree from the College of Biblical Study and a doctoral honorary doctoral degree from JKU. Um, I'm a proud graduate. And I, I give you my background because I'm running on three uh, platform initiatives here at Humble ISD uh, Independent School District. Mm -hmm. And number one is uh, safety. Uh, number two is uh, teacher, teacher retention, and the mm -hmm. third one is a wraparound program with engagement. So I'm going to go into it real quick, and the reason why I chose safety. Safety is like mm -hmm. one of the number one topics that are around the nation right now, but it's been mine for 30 years. Yes, sir. And so, and the reason why, because I actually really care about what I do, and I'm passionate about the people I serve. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I would say this, that, uh, you know, you have a lot of things going on with, with talk about gun, you know, gun control, and you're talking about shootings and going, going on in schools like that, mm -hmm. and it has increased yes, sir. Uh, with all the things that's going on. But the number one thing that I'm really pushing to people, and they're not, not, no one even sees it, and mm -hmm. I retired in 2019 from Atascita High School, and over there mm -hmm. I was the point person, from what I'm saying, the point person, I was the uh, school safety coordinator and a discipline coordinator for that for that campus because I decided to take that from from the time I started school until now, and reason why because I realized that kids' safety is the number one concern. Mm -hmm. And I can go back when I was in middle school. Now, I may be 6'6", six, six, 400 pounds today, but I was not that size in middle school. And, I, you, I and, was, you, and you know, so one thing I do want to say, a lot of people don't know this. Mr. Spivey, as always, when we saw you coming up being our coach mm -hmm. in school, a lot of people, they don't really know this. You was the coach that we all looked up to. In fact, I, it's so ironic, and people need to be sending this man his royalty checks. Coach Spivey was the originator of the flick of the wrist. Yes, <laughs> and I, 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 people do do not not know that. I, I and that was the thing. You always stayed hard on all of your students, mm -hmm. it, from the football students. He was always the the laid back coach, but the hard coach at the same time. But you didn't let the the students get over on people. You always try to keep us in line and tell us to do the. The right thing. Um, the, the question I, I have is, 
um, as being in the field that you come out, North Forest, because, you know, back in, in the 80s and 90s, North Forest was a, a district that was pretty much was dominating. You know, mm -hmm. you got Smiley, you got Northwood, you got uh, Kirby Middle School, you got Forest Brook. And, you know, a lot of people was um, looking at that side of town as, as if those kids couldn't play a lot of good sports and their grades wasn't good and a lot of them was getting in trouble and you was pr pretty much one of the main people that were keeping people out of trouble right. in school. And then to see you transition to where you are right now, what made you want to say, hey, look, I want to go in the field of change. Th this is what I want to do. It's different. Okay, you're trying turn to go into the education mm -hmm. or where? Okay. Go on where you are right now. Okay, so in education, uh, getting into the program and uh, education, my steps are actually all about the Lord. It's by the inspiration, inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Didn't know that at the time. As a minister right now, I look back on it and I can see a thread on how God has ordered my step, even to this point. It's basically a setup, and he does it for, uh, for all our lives and stuff. Yes, so, But I will say this, the most fulfilling time I've had as an educator, like what you said at Kirby and, uh, and uh, Smiley High School, and seeing you all know they're doing great things and stuff. And I always knew, knew when God allowed me to be uh, have any control or like or leadership over a program or a teacher or a coach or something like that, it was my distinct privilege and pleasure. And I came to y'all like that. Some, yes, pe sir. some people look at it as y'all were a burden. No, 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 give them to me. They, I knew, I knew what I knew, that one day that y'all would be sitting in positions. And I, my, my, my mommy told me, she said, son, you know, one of them same kids that you're dealing with would be your nurses, your, your practitioners, your CPO, your police officer, your whatever, doctors. She said, you, you, you need to know who you're dealing with. You never know who you're dealing with with those kids, and I never forgot what she said. Yes, sir. And so I, I, taught, I taught every kid, I treated every kid like they were going to be the future president of America. I always did it, and y'all know I did, and I still yes, sir. to this day. I have nothing but the utmost respect and love for each and every one of y'all. Pray about it all the time. And so going into um, administration, I, I wanted to be in a position I can do more. Because mm -hmm. I know that when I was in school, it was always that friction uh, with teachers who shouldn't have been in the profession in the first place. You're right about that. And so in, uh, behind the scenes, I can tell you that now because you're grown, but I never got along with them because they wanted to always impede y'all progress or put mm -hmm. you in the system or show you what kind of authority you have. That's what not our job. Our job was to be uh, a bridge and building bridge for future generations for y'all and uh, teaching y'all because we're not, we're not the warring. You know, you got two different institutions. You, yes, sir. You got, you got the prison institution, you got the education institution, how I learn. My thing is was to push you into the institution, how I learn, or either uh, uh, entrepreneurship. So some people were working against me. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't know if you're familiar with the, we work on a group of kids in a middle school, and we taking them to uh, the prisons back in the day. I remember that. Yeah. And so me and my brother was at Brownsley 3, and so we partnership with Scare Straight. And there was some funny experiences with some of the kids we took down and some of the things that happened when we got down there. And they really were scared. Mm -hmm. And so when I went to high school, people heard about that. And then a lady out of the name of Marilyn Gambria, we went to the uh, Chief Brown's inauguration in 98. And mm -hmm. he was being inaugurated to be mayor of the city of Houston. And a friend of mine named Perry Beasley said, you know what, uh, Spivey, if you and Marilyn ever get together, y'all going to do some things. Well, we did get together. He introduced us that day. We started a program called No More Victims. And so the No More Victims we did with kids, uh, parents who were incarcerated. Mm -hmm. And then um, University of Houston, I mean, University of Texas and Texas A&M did our research for us. Mm -hmm. The Hall Foundation thing gave us like $100,000 to get started. Had a lot of people under a rail for KPRC, came along. Then CNN started following us, World News. And then we got an invite to the White House for uh, President Bush and Rob Page to implement our program uh, like nationwide. Wow. And then after that, uh, Nightline in uh, Hollywood came and said, hey, can we do, do, some, do some movies? So fighting the arts and Marilyn Gambia story, I'm the principal in that movie, so it's so, the things you're saying right now are mm -hmm. captured, you know. Yes, sir. They're captured. So he's why we wear smiling. So I always thought, you know, that uh, I wasn't trying to make, get in no movie or anything or do anything, but because I'd have loved my heart for the students that I've served and still do, you know, it's, nothing changed. So uh, maybe go into administration and, and put them in a position that I can do more instead of mm -hmm. fighting these teachers. And if you think about the very movie, the movie's called Fighting the Arts because I went against the arts. They didn't want, this, they didn't want the program in Humble. I mean, not Humble, but uh, Smiley. Mm -hmm. They didn't want the program over there. It's going to make us look bad. It look bad. You are really looking, you are looking bad because you're not having a situation. It actually kind of remind me of back in in our day, the movie that a lot of people liked it was Lean on Me. Yes, it kind of remind me yes. it, it, exactly because it back in in that day that was the the movie mm -hmm. in in my generation because yes. Lean on Me was almost like the the story that we had because people don't they don't know unless they came from that side of town and right. they will understand that and we didn't have a, like a lot a lot of stuff and then what we did have. Especially you, you made sure those kids was actually happy. You even sacrificed 
I didn't see you plenty of times where we go on field trips and do stuff. You take the money out your own pocket. If one of them students don't have, you made sure that it came out your pocket and you took care of it. You didn't even ask for the money back. No. And they don't understand teachers didn't really make a lot of money back in those days. They didn't, they didn't understand that. And the a thing is getting into the actual, I call it politics, because, you know, people politic back and forth. Getting in the field that you are in right now and wanting to see the actual change with things that's actually going on, especially with guns. I have a daughter that's 15 years old. She go to school. Just a few weeks ago, somebody actually called the school and said they was going to shoot the school up. And I, and when I went to the school, I seen so many parents that was up there checking their children out. And is we live in a world now where it's actually really bad, and we do need to actually have somebody that's in that has that voice that looks like us. When I may say like us, people think I'm thinking about color. I'm not thinking about color. Us, me, us as a, as a whole, as individuals, as people, um, white, black, Hispanic, Chinese, it doesn't matter. We need somebody to have that voice as somebody that's not just sitting behind a desk signing a, a piece of paper, getting a paycheck, okay. making sure this person getting a bonus right here, uh, yes. waiting for we can get this funding in. Um, prime example, um, I think one of the school districts um, is, is actually is going to be bought out by the state, if I'm not mm. mistaken. HISD, yes. And HISD's been around just as long as North Forest uh, was around um, back in the days. So seeing somebody like yourself with your caliber and what you actually doing is is very awesome and is even better for me to see somebody that I know personally, not somebody that just woke up yesterday and got up in the morning and said, hey, I'm finna go run for this right here and this is what I'm finna do. No, to know you and to understand you and to be around you is like amazing. Um, do you ever, going, getting into the actual campaign, was you actually scared and, and nervous knowing you finna go up against a whole bunch of other people besides yourself? Well, let me say this. I'm a minister, first of all. Let me say this. Yes, sir. And uh, perfect love casts out fear. That's 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 one of God's things. Perfect yes, love casts out fear. When I think about the love I have for the students that's going to need me to be on the board and pass policy that would govern them and benefit them and laws in place that would you know advance them, I think about I have no fear because it's like I, I do it or I die, and that's, that, right. that's my alternative. And so. Fear wasn't even an option, to be honest, which is why I can talk with boldness and confidence because I know I have an agenda, and it's not a hidden agenda. Everybody knows my agenda. It's been that way since uh, 84 when I started. Yes, sir. And so uh, when I get on the board, it, and we, we, we're making, I say, when I get on the board, God bless me. So when I get on the board, we're going to make some changes, and the changes are not for me. I'm not running to make any money. I'm not running to get in connection with anybody. I, and if I do get in connection, it's for, for people that I've had, students that I've had in the past so that I can do, and I do that. I got And I have several people, several of my students still follow me. I mean, I'm on several social media, so I got four uh, Facebook pages because I got so many students in, in, that's following me. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, I'm on, uh, um, you name it, TikTok, all, everything you can name, I'm out there. So if a person trying to get in contact with me, and God has blessed me with the platform, I know everybody. And I say I know everybody at the offices, and I work local, uh, I work with local um, county, uh, state, and federal officials and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so many people came to have the same mindset I had, that they want to see it get better. I mean, honestly, yes, they want to see y'all advance. And so we, uh, God put us together because it couldn't have been nothing but a God. I'm not that smart, so... Um, no, you are. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, to actually watch and to actually see everything that I, I, I actually see, I could have never imagined in, in a million years I went from sitting in your office, sitting in your chair, to you sitting in my chair actually having a conversation with, with, with me. And that's like so amazing. And one thing about you, you never forget where you come from. I can never take that from you. No matter what nobody say, no matter anything, you always has been that person that will be that voice, that fight for people. And some people, they don't understand that. Um, in doing, what is one of the the actual policies that, that you're fighting to, to actually, if you get in, which I know you're going to get in, so it's not an if. When you get in, what is one it. of the first things that, that you're going to go for? And change the change in school. I, I wonder when we uh, apply uh, and we hire our principals that everybody wants the smart principal, and that's fine. But that at the end of the day, that doesn't do because kids. It, it's a motto: kids don't care how much you know without first showing them how much you care first, and that is our motto in education. You know, so I think yeah. Well, you know, people are gonna be they're gonna have their doctor, they're gonna have their background, they're gonna have their degree and all that pedigree. 
But I think if you need to pass them a test, something on that test needs to show I care about those kids. And I'm going to make the right decision when my back against the wall and the kids back against the wall, it ain't necessarily about me. It's what I'm going to do for the kid. And if we ain't got those kind of people, and that, that's what I'm going to be looking at. And that's what I'll be approving because the board actually approves all the, the contracts and things like that in, in the district. So and I, it won't get my vote if it's a person that, that's got his foot on the teacher's neck and employee's neck and not taking care of my students and stuff. I can't go along with that. So, You know, and, and that is what I've been waking up. Some people... They don't do that. They care about clocking in, getting a paycheck. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't know. I know these students have no business putting their hands on teachers, and I'm I'm all all against that. But a teacher has to learn and have to have to know to well. Hey, look, if the student try to attack me, I gotta try to avoid the situation. Even if they hit you, you have to turn back around and defend yourself, but not defend yourself when you have to hit them back. You have to learn how to restrain. Even if you have to ball yourself up in the knot, deescalate. They don't understand that. They feel like, and they don't. We live in a different day. Back in our ages, in the the line of beepers, which y'all don't know about that, pagers, we didn't have no cell phones. Right. You couldn't pick your cell phones up. Wasn't no social media. Wasn't no internet. Children was children. Kids was kids. People had fun. Now everything evolves around people on the internet twenty four seven. How many people can actually tell you that they actually sit down at the kitchen table and have a conversation with their parent? Right. All they doing is this right here. Cool. Are they taking a, a food to, to the room? They they lose sight of things that go on in the world because they locked into that social media box. They don't come outside of that. And a lot of people, they don't vote. And I always tell them when they complain about, man, the school system is messed up and this and that. Well, when they had a PTA meetings, you never show up. Right. If you show up and you actually tell what's going on, the people can try to change it. You don't show up. Your parent don't show up. You you discipline. I think the worst thing they could have took out of the school is the paddle. And I, I can honestly say, <laughs> if it wasn't worth for that paddle, I'm telling y'all personally, I wouldn't be here. I, I, I wouldn't. Get your pops, go back to class, yes, man. Yes. It, now you can't can't touch nobody, kids. You can't whoop them, can't discipline. No, none of that stuff, man. Can't say none of them attempt. Can't say do nothing. Either, so. It's better all to spoil a child. That's correct. It's biblical. Yes, sir. People, yeah. they do not understand that. Now, question I do want to ask you. In this um, race, how many people have you came across that actually don't want you in office? This to try to tell you, like, no, I don't think you should run. Cause you know, people try to do that too. Right. Like, oh man, they're not gonna, they're not gonna put you in there, man. You just need to go ahead and continue doing this. Do you have a lot of people that? No, not at all. In fact, I would say ninety percent of the people that when I when I'm running, they're hundred percent. What I need, what what do we need to help you? And uh, they just say, you know, it's, it's about time. We we need uh, Christian educators on that board. We need people to have the best interest of the kids on that board. That's that's the comments I'm getting. Have you them. turned back around? Have you shot any campaign videos, anything yet? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. They're on my Facebook page. I mean, you can go put my. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure you're gonna make a documentary out of this. I'm most, hey, you going? You finna go? You finna go global? I want to direct it. <laughs> okay. If, if you if you do, I, I want to I want to take and, and direct that that documentary so yes. they can actually see what better thing to do is have somebody that that directs something that's been around you versus yes. somebody that don't know you Absolutely. don't know anything. I, I would love to, and then we can get Absolutely. some of the the students past yes. and present that actually can can speak on your behalf because I, I would definitely love that. Now. Last question I want to ask. This is super important. I know you do a lot of stuff for everybody. Do you ever get to a point where you're actually tired? Like your body be like, hey, man, I'm tired. I do so much stuff. I need to give me a break. I I used to, but now as I'm retired and, and you know, at the age I am, now I'm in the 60s. And so it's to, it's to me, if God let me live another day, it is my pleasure to know my purpose. And I'm in my purpose. Now, back then, I kind of thought I was in my purpose. Now, I'm full throttle now. I'm in my purpose, and it's like it's a blessing. You can't... I've had several accomplishments in my life. I had a whole lot of accomplishments in my life. I can look back on stuff, put a smile on my face. But the one thing that makes me... I go to bed at night, and I with a smile on my face, is knowing that I changed some people's lives. And they came... I mean, really, some people that was going to go to jail. Some people that needed a break. Some people that needed me to call the university and missions and get their uh, application pushed for. Some people that just needed me to walk them through the court system because I knew the DA and knew the judges and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, just many things like that. Just to get, be a reference and... Give them a reference to a college or university or something, like, or either to a military, whatever that was, right? Or just get on the phone and call some statesman and say, hey, I got a student that's trying that the system has failed 
them, and uh, they're trying to get back on the street. Let's, let's, let's see if we can restore them. So when I look back at all the hundreds of things I've done for students, my students, I, I can go to sleep at night and know I, I can't get tired. I got to push forward. <laughs> no, I can't get tired. I don't get tired. And, and you know, when you actually do good, positive things, and especially I never seen you caught up in a scandal. I, I never seen anything bad with you. I see nothing but positive, positive stuff. You can't go wrong. This was meant for you. You was built for this. And I know exactly that you're going to get this. Now, how can the people, What when is the, I think the election thing started, is it, is it May? Okay, yeah. So we, let me say, next week on, on Monday, uh, April the 24th to May the 2nd is early voting. That's when we really need to go out and did it. And, of course, the general election is May the 6th. That's when the elections were all, that's going to be the final thing. We all know who okay. won. Well, I don't want to wait till May the 6th. Too many things happen. Too many there where people get sick, the car break down, you know. And stuff happens. Life happens. And you wait till that day, we're going to miss out. But now the early voting is what we want to target. And that starts Monday. And so we want to make sure that everybody get out in those areas, in the Kingwood area, in, uh, in um, King, Kingwood, Atasasita, Humble, and especially the neighborhood with, um, what's that, uh, Summerwood and also Fall Creek and, and uh just, just get out, get out and support me. Cause a lot of students that went to school with you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, matter of fact, you, of you can't forget about Foxwood, Kinswick. You no, know, yes, they part of Humble yes, too. Yes. Yeah, even though y'all may go to all the high school, but y'all still live in Humble. Just yeah. go down. The, the early voting is important because you can't get your voice heard if you don't put the person in office and put yes. them in place to actually get it in the process. Some people they don't understand that. They be like, oh, I don't have time. You can go right on down to Walmart and go get you a Black Friday special, and you go stand in line. Mm -hmm. You can go go in there and, and, and vote, man. Some people don't understand. I, I I will be there on on that Thursday, and and you got my vote. I I will be there. It will be documented, and all the students, past and present, y'all need to go support Coach. Ain't no lot of people like, well, I don't I don't live in Humble, man. I, I, I can't vote. They they're not gonna let me vote. But you know people who do. So call thank them. you. That, 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 that's you know exactly. I tell them all the time, man, you can get somebody. Get on the phone, call. Hey, man, he's going there. Go vote for this right here. Now, um, the age limit, because people going to ask this question, 18 or older. 18 and older. There you go, 18 or older. And are they going to let some of the high school kids that are 18, are they going to let them vote? Absolutely. Okay, so y you, can't, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with, yes. with, with the actual voting thing. Right. Now, we get to the segment, which we call Leon's Top 5. Leon was a cousin of mine that died two years ago in the 18-wheeler, trying to um, take care of his family. Tall guy like yourself, and basically I take this segment and I always do the top five. What would be, I call him Coach, so what would be Coach Spivey top five songs he listening to? It can be an R&B artist, it can be gospel, it can be rap, it can be country, it can be blues. What would be the top five that you actually listen to when you need that peace of mind? Oh, uh, um, Be Encouraged by William Beckton. Okay. Uh, I Choose to Worship by, um, what's my boy's name? Um, I can see his picture. Oh, my goodness. I forget his name. Um, I like, uh, on the secular side, I like Kim, a lot of his songs. You know, it's okay. you. Um, just, I, I don't know. I'm looking blank right now. So, But I, I love a lot, of Kim, a lot of Kim songs, a whole lot of Kim songs. It's He's clean, good. Clean music, you know, it's to the heart and brings back memories. And, and I, just, I love a lot of gospel songs, too. A whole lot, so I don't know why I ain't thinking now. I got the campaign on my mind, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he look, so he he look, he's if campaign was music, man, I'll be like, yes. hey, look, I need to do this yes. right here. Yes, so I, I'm I'm glad that I actually can't got you on the show, and I I actually I couldn't even sleep last night. I said, man, he said, man, he said you excited? I said, man, I got somebody coming on this show, and I've been dying to get him on the show, and I got him on here, man, and I want to make sure that I'm probably one of the first ones that got him. I can actually talk and and let people know anything that they need to know about. But I do want to do this. If you can tell the people in a quick summary the reason why they need to vote for you and why your vote matters, what would you say to them? I would say this. I would say if you want to put somebody in the office that would represent you and be the voice of, of a person, so this meeting is when I get in the board, you know, closed session, they're not going to be able to get in. And so the person who will speak on their behalf, because see, some people are afraid to speak truth to power because of whatever position, you know, they're afraid they might mess up their under the table money, whatever. I have no, I have no stake in the game like that. Mine is straightforward. I'm for the kids, and I'm gonna be there. So I'm gonna be open no matter what question they ask me. So it's that you put me in office because I'm your best representative. 
I like that. I, that, 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 that song, that song did up. And then I, you also have other friends that's running for other stuff as well. Mm-hmm. And you got my word, when they come here and they come on the show, they gonna have my best at interest. They ain't gotta worry about me trying to blast and say, what about this? And I'm not, I didn't build my show to degrade anybody. I built my show to help people and we all come together as actually one. So I enjoyed you. I will have you back in a future episode. And I, I just want to tell you, thank you, man, for all of you've done for everybody. I can't speak on no other children, but them children on Tipwell and Mesa, <laughs> on that north side of Houston, Texas, man, you changed a lot of our lives. I promise you for the good. Some of them didn't listen to you. <laughs> But I, I, I tell you that you actually really looked out, man, and I really, really, really appreciate it. That's why you are well-respected in the community. Nobody can never basically disrespect you because it's not going to happen because we know how important culture was to us. I can't wait until you get into into office, and, and when you do, I will make sure I'm going to be there to videotape everything yes. so I can document it yes. and everything. Yes. Until next time, always remember, anything is possible. Thank you for chopping Chopping it up with Lil Ron. Until next time, we out. Peace.